Hello guys, you welcome back to this video. This video is brought by Ayami Tech Academic and welcome to Mathematics Africa. So this is the continuation of our previous video. And in case you missed our previous video and you wish to watch our previous video based on this particular topic called circle geometry. So now you wish to learn more about uh, circle geometry and in case of our previous uh, video, you can go in the description below, you see the link that directs you to our previous uh, video. So let's go. Okay, before I proceed, if you are just watching us for the first time, this is very important. Please do well to subscribe, like, as touch the button in case you have a brand, in case we have a brand like this, you'll be the first one to be notified. Okay, thank you for doing so. May God bless you. Okay, let's go. And you can solve this particular question. Now I'll explain everything I'll very you now. So the first thing here, when you see a question like this, okay. So this is the diagram. Let me read the question. So in the diagram, A, B, C, A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference. We have our A, B, C, D. They are the point of what? On the circumference of the circle of the circle. S, Y is a target. We have our S, Y is a target at the what? At A. The target at this point what? A here. So we want to find our angle C A Fs. We want to find angle C A Fs. And also we want to find angle A B Y. So how we solve it? So let's solve the question one. Angle C, we have angle C A Fs. So where do you find our angle C A Fs? So we have our angle C A Fs. So it means that we want to look at this what angle here. This angle, so let's say the angle is called to S. So let's say it's called to what? S. And we see A S. Uh, let me replace the word as S. Okay? So in this place now, how we get this our angle C A S? So let's start the dragon very well. I just say you have to study the dragon very well. So after you study the dragon very well, you just remember what type of angle, what is the first angle you can find here? Okay, to so make it easy, let me break it down like this. Our angle C A S, if we have it what we have our C A line C A. So if you look if you look at it through this Y, we have C A Y. So C A Y back to C A, it gives us what a triangle. Okay, it gives what a triangle. But this Y this Y A, it put this on the line which gives us what, as S. So if you should draw it here, if you should draw it outside, C A y and add this y to it so let's draw the uh, let's draw the shape outside let's draw the shape so this one gets like this you give a shape like this and this one produce our y our s our y our s other this way is called a y this way is point towards y and y this way is called towards c so this one give us a b c is a triangle but in this place because we want to look at c a S, we want to look at the angle here. I'm going to what we have here. We want to look at the angle here. So what about triangle is this? This place is called the, the because we want to look at the angle as uh, because we are looking at this angle here. This angle here is called exterior what angle? It is called an exterior angle. So and to get our exterior angle, it will be some of the opposites. Okay, some of the opposite interior what angle and the opposite here is given here. The angle here is given as 61 degree, but we don't know the angle here. Okay, before you can solve our angle C A S, we have to find the exterior angle of this word triangle. Okay, and now exterior angle is equal to some of the opposites. Some of the opposite words and interior angle here. Some of these plus these we give us our exterior angle. So and we have given this word as 60, but what is our angle here? We don't know the angle here. So how do we get the angle here? So this angle here we want to look at now. So let's start the journal number well. So if we look at it now, no, this one, the angle D here is a segment. Angle is a segment to C. How do I know that this uh, is what uh, is angle is a segment to what uh, to C? They are also what uh, equal. So it means that this space is equal to what? Uh, 20 degree. So how do I know that this space is angle is a segment? So if you still remember the three our previous class, we discussed angle 
on these segments. How do you recognize that angle on six segments? Let me briefly explain to you. So when you have a circle, you have a circle, okay? So you have a chord. You have a chord. So we have an angle that, for, that formed by a chord. So we have the first angle that formed by this chord. We have the first chord. Here to this place also was a chord. Okay? But the angle form is at this place. And we also have another chord. It starts from the same point. It starts from the same point. So it draws in any direction and ends at the same point. So this one starts at the same point. It ends at this point. And also this angle form here, this line, also starts from this point and go and end at this point. So this may this place is equal to this. This place is equal to this. Okay? It means that this space is equal to this. That is angle and same segments. And otherwise, this one is also what equal to what this. So if you apply what you have here, so that is what I say that the angle here is equal to angle here. So it means that they start from the same point. This call, start for this place, it produces what? It produces an angle here. This also stands for the same place. Also produces an angle here and come and end at the same word, please. So it means that this space got about 20 word degree. So here now we have a 20 word degree here. So you can easily find your angle, and you can easily find your exterior angle now. So let's say this exterior angle I represent as what? S here. So to get this exterior angle, it will be equal to, S is equal to sum of the opposites, interior what? Angle, it will be equal to 60, plus 20. 60 plus 20 we have what 80 world degree. That is angle answer for this place is got to 80 world degree. So in this place we have the form angle here is what 80 world degree. So therefore answer to question one we have our angle C A our angle C A else is got to 80 world degree. So that is answer to question one. We have solved the question one. Okay guys so let's go to the question two. So in the question two, you want to find the angle A, B, Y. So you want to look at this angle A, B, Y. So how do we solve that? It's very simple. So let's come here. Let's have our angle A, B, Y. We have angle A, B, Y. So we want to look at this, our angle A, B, Y. So we want to look at the angle that form in this world, in this place. Want to look at what at this? So to get our angle A B Y. So if you look at it now, this is a triangle. So let me just draw it out. We have our we have it like this. We have it like this. We have it like this. That is our A. We have our Y. We have our B. Y is given us sixty one degree. So we want to find the angle what B here. So we have to find this angle B here. You know this is a triangle. The sum of the angle in the triangle is equal to y80 degree, but you can't say that because we don't know the angle here. Assume that you have you know the angle A, so you can apply the sum of the angle in the triangle is equal to y80. Then you get the answer for this angle A B Y. But how do we know? How do we find this angle because it's not given? So let's look at the triangle over here. If you get this angle, you can able to solve this angle or B. So let's look at the triangle over here and let's see what will happen or what we can do here. So, let me tell you something, okay? When you see a question like this, this is the target, okay? The target to this wall, to this side, to this circle. This is the point of contact. So, if you still remember this law, these are theorems, other the circle geometry, that says that for any, for any circle, the angle between, the angle between the target and a chord, angle between the target and the chord, eh? to the point of intercept or to the point of contact of this word, this chord, of this uh, rather, of this uh, target, is equal to the angle formed, is equal to the angle formed, this place is a chord, and this place is a, is a chord, okay? They meet at this word, at this particular point of this way, where this target meet, where this target have a contact with this circle. Okay, so it's equal to the angle form is equal to the angle form in the alternate word segments. It's equal to the angle form 
in alternate segments. So in this place now, you have the first, uh, we have the first cordial, and we also have uh, the second cordial. But this second cordial is from what this angle here, and the first cordial you can say it's for this angle here because this place also falls what an angle. Because we can say that the angle here is equal to the angle here. No, because it's this alternate segment. No, this place, if you still remember, this one is just form, it just look at the form of what? Of Z. So you can see that if you have an alternate angle, you see that this place is equal to this because angle that form like Z. But in this what alternate segment, since we be alternate to be the alternate segment to this, so the angle here it will be equal to the angle we have this what at this chord formed by this chord. Okay, that be the angle at the what at alternate what segments. So it means that what the ang the angle D here is equal to angle A here because it's what is alternate what segment. So it means that our angle A is equal to 20 degree. So here we have our 20 what degree because it is what alternate segments. Then you can find our angle B. So to get our angle B here, it will be sum of the angle in a triangle. So therefore, it will be equal to it to be twenty plus sixty plus angle B. Like okay, let me write an angle A B A B Y is equal to one eighty. That is sum of the angle here. This way is twenty degree. So that is sum of this angle here in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. That is sum of the angle in a triangle. So let's add it together. This product is that gives us 80. That is what well our angle A, B, Y plus 80 is equal to 180. So when you collect like time, so therefore we have our angle A, B, Y is equal to, that is 180 minus what? 80. So 180 minus 80, we have what? 100. So our angle A, B, Y is equal to, we have 100 or degree. So our answer is equal to 100 degree. So our first question here, you have 80 degree, while the second question you have what? 100 degree. So that is how we break it down, that is the solution to this question. And if you understand, don't forget to want to subscribe like or turn your button in case what should I drive you like this you'll be the first person to notify okay thank you for watching and for watching god bless you and don't forget to share with your friend okay this is the next question we are going to the next question in this video okay guys let's go to the next question let's solve the question of today finished okay guys thank you guys let's go